Hi, this is Gina Versa. I'm here at Long Beach Comic Con with Sam Jones from the legendary film Flash Gordon. How are you doing, Sam? Good, Gene. Good, very well. Good, good. So, you know, st uh, Flash Gordon, when you guys were, you know, can run into it, when you guys were making it, you know, uh, did, you, did you think it was going to be this, like, huge, cold, cold film? No, I mean, not really. As an actor, when you're hired to do a project, that in itself is a big blessing. And then if it does well at the box office, or if it has any type of longevity, especially becoming a sort of cult, uh, iconic um, film for different uh, multi-generations, it's, it's icing on the cake. So, you know, before it was my age group and my children's age group, and now it's our, it's my children's children. It's wonderful, you know, I'll have, I'll have people come up to me, I'll have, Grandma, daughter, and granddaughter. You know, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. It's wonderful. Definitely. And you know, um, a lot of people. Um, you know, you know the film. You know, it took uh, you know a couple of years to be as like you know prominent as is as, as it is now. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are inspired a bit. You know, Alex Ross, uh, the painter who did. Uh, you know, was you know influenced a lot of his artwork. Yeah. Uh, Edgar Wright, who did like Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. It's really influenced by Flash Gordon. How does yeah. it feel to uh, you know inspire so many people? I guess. Well, it's wonderful. I mean, that's why that's why Seth MacFarlane called me. Mm -hmm. He, he uh, called me. He said, "Sam, when I was eight years old, I, I saw your movie. It it had such a great influence on my life. I knew I wanted to be a creative type person. And so I'm getting calls like this from a lot of people who were very young then, and it impacted their lives. And now they are decision makers in Hollywood. So it's wonderful." Very cool, very cool. Yeah. And uh, just changing gears here, uh, what was the, uh, cool, the funniest, uh, you know, you're, you're on TED, what was the funniest uh, story you have or anything? Well, no, I mean, it was just, I mean, it was, uh, I think it was Seth MacFarlane's first movie that he directed. So he was very prepared. Um, just doing, doing the party scenes were a lot of fun, you know. I mean, it was, he created a relaxing uh, work environment. When it came time to shoot the party scenes and all of that, and the stunts, we, we, we had a great time doing it. It's wonderful. Very cool. Very cool. And there's a few more questions for you. Um, you know, uh, a lot of like pulp heroes, there's, uh, you know, like Flash Gordon or like Buck Rogers, uh, Doc Savage. Uh, they've been trying to make, you know, films of you know, them for a couple of years now. Like yeah. They've been trying to do a Doc Savage movie. And, you know, Flash Gordon is probably the only like modern. Uh, you know, like pulp hero that's gotten like a film. Like, why do you, uh, why do you think um, you guys were so like you know successful in getting it made or you know it uh, resonated? Well, I think Flash Gordon, uh, one of the few superheroes who does not have any superpowers. You know, he's he's the go-to guy. You call him. Uh, you know, when when tyranny is coming in and and abusing or taking advantage of any innocence, he's the go-to guy. He comes in and he neutralizes the, the threat or, and or the nemesis. And I think a lot of similarities, similarities between me personally, I'm a former Marine, I'm, I'm known as the go-to guy in my family and, and in my circle of friends, and so yeah. And I, I think nowadays, uh, I think it, its longevity keeps going and going because I think the, the youth of America might be a little bit confused. Yeah. You know, they're thinking bad is good and good is bad. Well, Flash Gordon is that example traditional, traditionally of what good is and what good should be at all times. And, and it should not be tainted and it should not be perverted. Definitely. And one last question for you. Yeah. The, uh, the last shot of uh, Flash Gordon, I was like uh, listening to the commentary or reading oh, yeah. You, uh, I think it was um, the director... Our, uh, no one knew what to have that last shot on set, and you came up with the idea of doing that. Uh, oh, the uh, jump. Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm, were you thinking of anything else, or like what inspired that, I guess? Well, the fact the camera was above my head, so I had to, I had to jump up in the camera. That was really it, you know? <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. So thank you, Sam, so All much right, for you. your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it.